Hello, Gibson Home Improvement. My name is Robert Reed, and I work with uh, uh, a lot of remodeling people all over the United States. And I've been doing some research in the Cincinnati area, and I came across your website, and I figured you guys could use some help. So I made this video to give to you. Here are three tips that you can use and put into action yourself to start beating your competition up online. I don't want to waste your time or waste my time either. So by the end of this video, if you like what you've heard, and you can tell I have a lot of strategies to help grow your business, and if something that you're looking for, give me a call and we can chat. If not, no harm, no foul. Feel free to take the tips that I've given you and use them for yourself. The three tips I'm going to give you today is content, citations, and backlinks. So the first topic is, is content. That's basically anything that you can see on the first page, including the pictures. And what's behind the pictures are included in that content, if they're marked for, for content. And so why is content important? I'm sure you've heard the term, content is king. You want to make sure that you have enough content on your page to clearly let Google know what it is that you do and what kind of services that you offer. Also, you want to have enough content to make sure you're getting keywords and key phrases worked into the content. So that way it reads naturally. You want to be sure you're getting found for those keywords or key phrases that people may be searching for. Because someone is looking for your services, but they may not have heard of your branding. So that's the first tip I've got for you. Just making sure you have a lot of keyword, unique, rich content on your homepage. And you typically want to have about 1,500 words right on the front page and you're really short there not hardly any 10 words you do have quite you do have some but I, I would recommend suggesting adding more that way you can get found on more searches second tip I'm going to give you today is about citations so you might be asking yourself what is a citation and by searching your keyword so I've had this in here for somebody else and we want to do Cincinnati remodeling because that's what you do. So when I put this in there and then we search. And by searching in here, uh, the ones at the top right here are basically all the ads. So these are the people that are paying to be on top of the search results. And this can be somewhat of a, gam a gamble because there's a lot of people out there that choose to specifically not click on ads. Maybe they've had a bad experience with ads in the past. But in 2021, a lot of people are using ad blockers. People begin sick of the ads over the years, so they start installing ad blockers on their browser. And they may not see any of the ads. Below, if you come down, is the map section. And the map section has been uh, uh, where a lot of people are looking nowadays through the Google search. It seems to be a more trusted area and people tend to like what they click. They use the button to call directly from their cell phone. And this is directly related to a citation. So what a citation is, it's essentially your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories all throughout the web, like Yellow Pages or Facebook or Yelp, on social or online profiles where businesses can put their business information in there and their services. And all it does is just give you another avenue to reach more people. Basically, to beat out your competition, you just have to go out, get the same type of directory listing that your competition has, but you just don't want to stop there. If you really, truly want to beat out your competition online, you want to make sure that you have more directory listings than your competition. So at our company, what we do is we have the tools that we can use to research your competition. We can find out what directories exactly they're in, and then we can try to get you the same ones as well. Now, the third thing I want to go over with you is backlinks and what a backlink is. It's essentially another website that's giving a link back to your website so people can find you. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. For example, a Pizza Hut linking to you would not give you the same uh, ranking as another um, remodeler from another state. So making sure that you have relevant backlinks that are relevant to your industry and, and your services that you offer will help you dominate your competition in the search engine. 
So I used another website to help compare to your website. And uh, I used Neil's Design and Remodeling. You may have heard of them, and but they seem to be doing a lot of bath and uh, remodeling and kitchen remodeling. So look at their page. You can see they have a quite a bit of content on their front page and a lot of pictures. And um, so, and also I use a, another tool. Uh, it's called AREFs. And it's not 100% accurate, but this, t this tool basically buys data from Google. And so without me having access to your Google Analytics data, which is going to be the most accurate and up-to-date information, this will give me an idea like what's working for you and what's not. So with this data, I can tell you guys have had, um, well, there's no data that's come in at all. So I don't know if this is a new website or, or what, but right here you would have your referring domains and right here you would have your backlinks. And then you've, you've been noted for one keyword, which is usually your branding. So it should be something like Gibson home. There it is. So, Google automatically gives that one to you because you're the only one that would have that branding. And um, so if, if um, you know, I can't really go into the referring domains, it would tell you what's linking back to you. Right now, nothing's linking back to you. You have no domain power at all. And this one really needs to be worked on quite a bit. So, so if I looked at your competition, uh, if, if this would be your competition or it's just basically another website to give you an idea what it really should look like and this is just basically a normal website so they have a, a UR rating this is what Google thinks of them is 33 out of 100 and their domain power is 27 out of 100 so they have 12,000 backlinks and coming from almost 4,500 uh, websites which is quite a bit and they have 7,500 organic keywords, and they're getting a traffic of 1,400 people coming in. Now, I don't know if you want to grow your business or you're just happy with where it's at, but 1,400 people coming in would, would be a game changer to most businesses. Uh, a lot of people are putting ads in uh, Google and uh, uh, TV or wherever they put ads at. This right here would be the mo the best ROI uh, on uh, putting together an ad for your company because this would be 1,400 people coming into your website that you don't have to pay for or do ads or anything. It just once you get it set up, it'll start ranking and it actually will be become a part of your business. Say you were down to the sell of your business, this would give it more value because uh, a person buying your business would ask immediately, where are you getting your leads? And it, here's the answer right here. So uh, this would be huge. A lot of people don't know this. And you see a lot of companies co come up and go uh, to the moon based on just getting this, uh, this, this traffic here. So um, this is really important. And, um, you know, uh, this needs to be worked on a lot. And uh, this is something that, that we do, and we could make your ranking. And the key is, you know, having a, a website that does nothing is like having a billboard on a desert island is the way I look at it. Um, it's just not doing anything for you. So you may have somebody uh, already set up to do this. We do this every day, and this is no big deal for us to build your company up, right? This is where it's at right there. So... Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And if you're not interested in working with us, it's fine. Uh, if you could just take, um, I'd love it if you could take these steps yourself and build your business. Uh, you can do it yourself. It's not hard to do. We can show you how if you have any questions. But I would appreciate if you gave us some feedback on this video and uh, our strategies. And I would really appreciate it. So, but I appreciate you taking the time to uh, uh, look at the video and see what we're offering. And uh, you just have a great day. Thank you very much.